So you've got a number of different data types available to you. Which ones should you use? If you're doing floating point math, you can use double or long doubles if you want to maximize the resolution, meaning the range of values that you can represent as well as the number of decimal places. But if you're concerned about the amount of memory you're using or how long computations take, you might use a floating point. It could be faster computations, less bits and bytes to manipulate, and less memory. If you're doing integer math, then you should remember that ints are better than floats. Don't use floating point numbers if you know if you know that your values are always going to be integer values because floating point numbers can't represent exactly all the integers in the same wide range that ints or long ints can. If you know that your numbers are going to be small, you could use char. Char saves memory. If you have a large array, they only use one byte as opposed to four bytes. And if you know that your values are always going to be positive, you might consider using unsigned char or unsigned ints, just so you get a larger positive range. If you need a truly large range of values, then you, can, you should consider using long or long, long ints. That will give you more bytes to represent your values. One thing you should be aware of, though, when you're using integer math is you might get some strange overflow problems that are not immediately intuitive. So let's do a, a simple example. Let's say that we define two variables, and we're going to make them unsigned. And we'll make them small, so they're going to be represented by chars. x equal to 100, and y is equal to 240. And we'll have a third variable, z, that will contain the sum. And then we say that z is equal to x plus y. Now, the obvious thing to think is that z should have the value 340, 100 plus 240. But in fact, if you were to print out the value of z, you'd find that z is equal to 84. So why is that? Well, when you added the two chars and assigned it to another char, there was an overflow. The 240 plus 100, it made 340, which is larger than the 0 to 255 range that can be represented by the unsigned char. And in fact, the hexadecimal representation of the sum, if there was no overflow, would be 0x154. But the 1 gets cut off because you only have one byte to represent z, so you only have these two left. So that becomes 0x54, and that's just 5 times 16 plus 4 is 84. So this problem is called overflow. And so you have to be careful when you're doing math with integers that you don't run into this problem. 